Hey, Caleb Dennison with Digital Trends here. We are stopping by our friend's Blue Microphone booth to check out three new headphones that they're offering. Two are available right now, and one is kind of secret. We'll tell you about that in a second, but you're going to be excited, so stick around. First, I want to tell you about the Sadie. Now, this is the replacement for the MoFi. If you remember that particular set, um, what we really liked about that set of cans was that it had a built-in amplifier. So it removes the fact that your iPhone or your Android phone doesn't have a great amp built in, takes that out of the picture entirely. And I mean, it does a really great job of taking that signal, amplifying it, and it works with the driver so Blue is able to achieve the sound that they want. They remove a bunch of guesswork. Um, they've made a few changes. They listened to people about what kind of changes they wanted to see to the EQ curve and they implemented them. They're supposed to have a little bit uh, smoother highs extended, smoother mid-range, and uh, just a, a little bit more punch to the bass. Uh, they still have a very interesting structure. Um, there's a lot of support here. There's not too much clamping force, um, and they're a little bit lighter, if I remember correctly. These are $399, uh, and you can get them from Blue Microphones and other fine retailers, I'm sure. The next I want to tell you about is the Ella. Now, this is a very special set of headphones. These are planar magnetic headphones. Uh, you can learn about the tech behind planar magnetic at Digital Trends, uh, but basically we're talking about a very lifelike, very smooth sound. The dynamics, the stops, the starts are lightning quick, and that's what we love about planar magnetic headphones. Here's the problem though. A lot of these planar magnetic headphones, aside from being a little on the expensive side, need an amplifier to sound really good, and you're going to have to tack on quite a bit more money in order to afford that amplifier and really get the most out of a planar magnetic headphone. Again, Blue builds that, that amplifier into the cans themselves, and again, it sounds exactly the way they want it to sound. We're gonna be getting these in for review, so you can find out all about how they sound and what we think of how they stack up against other planar magnetics. They're gonna be $6.99, and uh, again, we're really looking forward to checking these out. Now, finally, last one. This is a sort of a work in progress for Blue. We hope to see these later this year, ideally, uh, but this will be the first noise-canceling Bluetooth headphone from the company. I got a chance to listen to these, and I'm very impressed. I've been listening to all the best ones from Bose, Sennheiser, um, and these stack up very, very well. Again, built-in amplification. Here's something that's a little bit unique about these, though. Nobody really does this. They have separate drivers for the audio that they produce, and for the noise canceling. Normally in a pair of uh, noise canceling headphones, one driver does it all. So it's reproducing ambient noise out of phase to cancel it out and make things quiet, but it's also trying to produce the music that you're trying to listen to. These take a different approach in that they separate the functions among two different drivers. One handles all the music, the other handles all the noise canceling. I think that's pretty clever. They do sound very good. Hard to tell on the show floor, but again, we're talking about a pair of noise canceling headphones that managed to shut out all this noise and still sound really good. I'm excited to see these. We don't have any kind of a pricing or availability information right now, but you're definitely gonna wanna keep an eye out for them. We'll pull them into Digital Trends, do a full review, stack them up against the best, and see how it plays out. That's it, I'm Caleb Dennison for Digital Trends. This has been Blue Microphones Headphone Lineup at CES 2017.